Hello and welcome to Road America. We are in the Toyota GR86 for this one. A uh, pretty big course for such a low powered car. Um, having watched Nick's video over on Nibon 5, it, uh, <laughs> it very accurately is described as uh, super speedway racing on road. Because uh, you're just kind of waiting a lot of the time on these long straightaways as this thing tries to get as much speed as it can. We've got two laps to set a decent time. And it seems like the way to go about it is just be patient. You know, the draft is going to be big. Knowing when to uh, make a move and when to just fall in line seems like it's going to be important. But we've got ourselves a pretty darn strong strength of field here, uh, especially for the roadside. I don't normally see, for the stuff I run in anyway, quite this strong of a field. We got 3.5k and we are the number 10. So I hope that means better racing rather than more aggressive racing, but it seems like usually you get a little bit of both. <laughs> um, depends on who's showing up, I guess. But I'm going to be focusing on not overdriving my corners, trying to get uh, good runs off, you know, all that good stuff, all the normal stuff. I don't feel the fastest quite yet, by any means, but I've been around this place before, and uh, this is like a slow-mo version of it, so I think I should be okay. Um, just got done doing a uh, quote-unquote practice race, which is what I normally do uh, before I do anything. I'm going to record and stuff. I usually do like a Rookie Mazda race, maybe an ARCA race, or a Formula V race. Just to, uh, oh my gosh, why am I going off course here? It's not paying attention. That's okay. We'll get back on course, whatever. 1X. Um, anyway, I did Formula V at Okayama just to uh, kind of get comfortable in the seat, and then uh, just got blasted from behind on lap one. So that was very frustrating. Just no reason. Just guy running in the back of me. So that was very frustrating way to start the day. Hopefully this goes a little bit better. And uh, I don't know if uh, we're going to get two laps in here. We might get this first lap and that's it. Because this is a big course. Two and a half minute laps. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be close. Whether we'll actually get both in or not. I'm actually going to say no, we're not going to get both laps in. So let's make this one count. Just super long laps here, two and a half minutes. And the worst part is we have to do a full pace lap too, for reasons unknown. We can get shortened pace laps at Sakuba where nobody can even start rolling before the green comes out, but we can't at this gigantic track. Like, I don't understand the logic behind that, but hey, maybe uh, they've got Galaxy Brain and they know something I don't. And <laughs> they're at our racing, but regardless, regardless, we are going to try to see if we can get into the 135s. I think that's all about I can hope for. I don't think I'm going to get 130 or a 234. Because that would require an op optimal lap. I don't know if I have that in me necessarily. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I clipped the grass. Well, we don't get to qualify today. That's stupid. Man, so now we don't even get a second lap because there's not enough time. <laughs> well, we'll get some practice anyway, since apparently I need it. And run out the clock. I think I just, I had tried to get everything I could through that corner, tried to really uh, apex it, get really uh, onto the apex there, and I just overdid it. So that stinks. That's the thing, when you get one lap, it's like normally I'll do like a banker lap and you know just have one 
set and then I try harder the next lap but when you get one lap well you gotta try to get a good lap and stay on course at the same time which you know people that are good could probably do that no problem but <laughs> that was too much of a task for me I see I'm gonna have to keep in mind that we're probably gonna have a lot of draft around the course whenever it's time to actually race so I've got to make sure that I'm slowing down a little earlier too yeah we're, we would have to hit a 2 <laughs> what, what would you have to hit a 226 in order to actually get a lap in and guess what that's not happening so we get to start in the back that's actually that actually might be for the best. This is probably uh, secretly a good thing. I guess everybody else is going to think they can get another lap in, and then they're going to get kicked out right before, and so we're just going to have to wait the full time. Man, rough start to the day for me, though, getting destroyed in Formula V, and now I don't get my qualifying lap in. That's fine. We are the 10, so all we got to do is really hope for a top 10. That'll probably be good enough. What's uh, What are the I rating numbers here? We have 6.9 up there is the number one. As mentioned, this is a 3.5k strength of field, so obviously we got some really fast guys. Big jump down to 4.9 right there, though. 4.5. Got me all the way down here. Dropped a little bit lately after some very frustratingly bad finishes um like the last one i did got 3.5k for me and then uh the lowest 2.5k he's got a really good safety rating too so um i don't know got some strong strong drivers in here i'm just gonna try to keep it on course At least I'm not the only one that had uh, trouble. About half the field did. Let's see, we got the five that's probably going to start for us. And the nine. Interesting. So I'm just waiting for this thing to start. Done uh, most of the stuff I wanted to do this week already. Did some truck racing at Auto Club and some Xfinity. Did the uh, Arca at Homestead road course. That was very difficult. I wasn't very fast, but got one of those in. Did uh, the Formula V, even though I got taken out. Maybe I'll try another one of those later. But it's time to go for this. Or at least it's time to start pacing. I'll see you next year, you whenever it's time to actually race. Line up on the left side. Closed. Pit road is closed. Not tomorrow. I wonder if we'll see any uh, trouble on the pace laps. Pace laps in road series can be scary, and uh, we've got a lot of time out on this pace lap for people to do something weird. Let's see if everyone survives. So on pole we have a ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another very long outlap. Yeah. Got two thirty two on the pole. They Somebody nailed it. Right. About half a second faster than P two. We can all agree that we all love a really long, long, long Long outlap. Even my all time up my all time best would have put me like last. <laughs> so I wouldn't have even qualified much better. I might struggle here. I'm apparently pretty slow. I'm gonna hope have to hope that this really uh around the beautiful. Oh wow, look at that, we got a fan. Um the
That's super cool. We'll give him a good luck. Where's he starting? He's much faster than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> the 19 up in sixth place. P16, 15 minutes. You'll need Neat. To this. We've got international viewers now. That might be the first time I've seen that. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, no, I've had some people comment, I think. Especially when I do road stuff. In the right They're from Europe and such. That's really cool. Kind of, it's hard to even comprehend that people are watching, like from all over the world. Kind of, I'm still getting around uh, my brain around the fact that people watch this willingly at all. <laughs> but we're probably going to get about six laps here. Uh, that's what it estimates there on the uh, race labs on the top left. Around six laps, depending on how fast the leader is. But. I think my base model for focus to the line better than this. <laughs> Forward focus. And I think you could push the stopping part off the line behind it. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. That was one of the good rules. This all must be moving through the length of the whole race. Everyone What's making jokes about the outlap. I heard America is a full lap. And then Scuba, <laughs> I read he's like, oh yeah, one corner? Fine, fine. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about before. Yep, seems legit, yeah. It really makes no yeah, sense here either. Three back three. Yeah, plenty of places we could be starting our outlap instead, but oh well. That fresh, that fresh hole. Hole. I racing it's wouldn't have any consistency at all if they didn't have inconsistency. I and mean, everywhere else, it's like a couple corners. Here we go. As if there aren't there plenty of straight to, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. start all the cards on. I, I might as well just keep quiet because they were saying exactly well, what I'm saying, like, like half a second later. You have to do a whole thing oh, like the Rock Oh, that'd be brutal. Yeah, I'm going to have to Are we there yet? I have to get my map out. Feels like we're going cross country. Are we on the right interstate? Oh man, we're in Speedville? That's totally off course. <laughs> Haven't seen any accidents yet though on the base lap. That's a relief. There's still time. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. We've got a lot of good people out here. Hopefully I can learn how to be a little bit faster, maybe. Oh, this corner coming up, Canada Corner, I believe. I don't know the history behind that or anything. I just hear people refer to it all the time. I know lots of road courses have special names for other corners, so they're not saying, like, like corner 13, turn 13, and then everyone's, like, having to count, looking at a picture of the track. Makes This makes sense. On the whole side, we get four corners, so it's usually pretty easy to figure out. We have a wreck under pacing. We almost made it. We almost made it to pace lap. Now we're coming to a stop, I guess. Might as well just do a standing start. Why are they getting rear-ended from behind? What is going on? What's wrong with you people? This is the easy part, I swear. <laughs> Oh, oh Jesus! Well, oh, oh, oh. there's not even that many people behind me. I don't know how they can be running into that. Yeah, we're definitely just gonna have to be patient here because they're gonna be making plenty of mistakes. I think.
That guy's either going defensive or about to make a big dive bomb. Dive bomb it is. Got nearly pushed me off the course, it felt like. This is scary. Just can nobody can wait a single corner, I swear. Oh my god. That same guy that just ran someone over on pace lab just about ran in the back of me. Just take it easy. My goodness, it's the first lap. Dude, chill out. That's like the third time you've run into somebody. This guy is on a rampage, man. It's fast you, you know what to expect. <sighs> Thank goodness. Well, we just survived another lap, maybe, since he's not going to be here. I <sighs> add that to the list of least surprising things of all time. Hopefully we can get back into the draft. So we're going to need that at uh, Road America Super Speedway. in it though right now they'll be running into each other though I'll probably being side by side and we'll get lots of freebies so it'll be okay and they're side by side up there just being smooth already gaining some time back can imagine them probably having trouble coming up here. Okay, Colton, the next car is west. I like how the dude behind wrecked on the easiest corner on the whole track too. Like you don't even lift off there. Just gotta get the angle right. <laughs> Catching back up slowly but surely. Maybe that's the easiest corner. I don't know. You also don't lift right there. The other one's a contender, though. That's for sure. Uh oh, someone's off for something. Uh, not all the way, though. You lose momentum. I'm gonna catch him at kind of an awkward spot, maybe. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Still there. Man, let's let's go get these guys. It's not bad, old boy. Clear. Left side. Still there. Clear on the left. Got caught up pretty fast. Car right. Good lord. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. Lose momentum Clear. and you're just slow forever. I'm trying to push you for now because I don't want to fall back into that drop. I guess that was a mistake. I just I didn't want to have lift off for him, but having to go through that quarter side just by side just killed every minutes. ounce of momentum I had. I guess I don't want to be doing that. Oh no. Tim back there in the 19 had trouble at some point. That sucks. Lap time was 
Time zero. Mm, they're side by side up ahead. Good try and what? Yeah. Swerving back and forth, getting into the grasp while doing so. I don't know about that maneuver. Okay, okay. Which would. I'm definitely not going to go for a pass here. I think they're going to take care of each other. Couldn't tell. Did, that guy might have just pushed that guy off. Yeah, this, this track is so big for this car. This is not working very well. These guys are all over the place. It's like I could make try to make a pass, but then they're just gonna be in my draft anyway, so I don't know that, what that would even what good that would do. Do you have to lift off a little bit maybe, uh, when you're in the draft right there? Maybe that's why that other guy wasn't prepared. He was in my draft going extra fast. Already about halfway through this thing, just finishing up the third lap. Okay, Colton, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Into each other. Hmm. Gonna happen here. Pushes them out wide. He just shoves them off the course. Pretty cool of him. I'm gonna push you. I guess I'm not driving in hard enough. I'm just trying not to. I'm trying to be safe. Clear on the right. Probably just underdriving it, I guess. Left side. Send it in from a mile back. Slow us down some more. Left. I don't need any help being slow, but okay. Guess I'll just try to uh, push him and try to get him to the next guy's draft. I guess I should be using more of the course right there. I know that's not an off track out there, but I don't. I feel like I'm going to send myself in the sand if I push out that wide. I don't know. I'm just underdriving this thing, I guess. I mean, I got to remember this is a really strong strength of field, so I guess I can't feel too bad if people are faster than me. I got all my I rating from different cars <laughs> anyway, and for the most part, different tracks.
Wish we had some more free spots, though. Watching Nick's race, it seemed like just about everybody was going off course. I was gonna... I need those spots. I'm not gonna pass any other way. Seventeenth right now. Three and a half minutes or so left. Just a little bit over that. I gotta be careful because that's in qualifying where I hit my left side. It's on the uh, inside there. Nearly spun myself. <laughs> Nearly did it right there, too. The gap in front is now 0.9. Yeah, I'm real slow. Slow car it's ahead. Turn slow eight. car ahead. There's a major crash. That's one of those th freebies I was talking about. It's going to bring some guys back to us as well. place. Not sure what happened to that guy. Maybe he had a cutting? Oh, there's someone pitching it. Big race for us both. 7k for me, 5k for you. Really want to be Stay here. On the right. Only because I lost like a million laps. Stay on the right. Clear on the left. Oh, rip. Right. Well, we made a couple passes that lap. Left, two minutes. And we only got one more. I don't know if we're going to keep any of them, though. Although the guy behind has damage, I think. So that might help us. 14th. White flag, one more lap. 14th. We get some last lap crashes. It's helpful that I have this little bit of draft ahead, and it definitely seems like the guy behind's down on power, because even in the, my draft, he's not gaining on me. He's 0.7 right now and just went back to 0.8, so... We might be able to hold on to that. That'll be nice, being able to beat the number 5 when I shouldn't be able to do that. I've improved a lot though. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this a little bit more. Ooh, wow, that guy almost went off. He went real wide. Guy behind is back to half a second back there. He's much faster than I am, but he's just down on power. I'm not too concerned about that, because I feel like I'll be able to overtake him anyway if we're near each other. Near the final stretch. Unless we'll pull away again here. Well, no, no freebies for this last lap, yet, anyway. Oh, second gear there, I don't know. No! no. Well, time to do one more red I wonder if they had a photo finish. Sounded like that guy just barely lost a photo finish. Yeah, good one, good one. Well, P14. I feel like I'm lucky I even got that with how strong this field is. Right, so the way and, uh. Hey, 
Do 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 do. Simply my rate then is like how strong this field was and how slow I am. I feel like I easily could have been dead last. Okay, we'll get him next time. Pull it on over. To the next one. All right, so not the best showing, but got a zero X. That's cool. Um, I, I was kind of, I wasn't sure if I managed to pull it off because I didn't see if I got any contact when the guy ran into the back of me, into that corner. The uh, 18 who was just all like absolutely driving in hard, like super hard into the corners, whether there was someone there or not. I think it was uh, very concerning. Are we so far away? Doesn't this seem like farther away than normal for the far chase? Zoom in a little bit. <laughs> right about there. And it's a little bit loud. But we'll check the incidents now. See what happened out here. Yeah, what is that? What is that? <laughs> He just shoves the guy, of course. It's like on a rampage. For, for, for reals. <laughs> what? I, I don't even know how to explain that. Look, he's trying to, like, pass three wide while we're still pacing? Like, what, what is that? He must have thought so we were going, and then... That's one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. And then uh, he continued to do dumb things. Shoves a guy, of course. There you go. <laughs> and then you see he's right behind me. This is whenever he's like driving in a thousand miles an hour. Like, look at this dive. He's three car lengths back. I'm trying to just take my corner. He nearly takes me out. That's crazy. And then he just drives off. Guy behind him, too. I guess they weren't expecting to need to lift on the non-grippy cold tires and, uh, in the draft. So, the five was already slow. He just... Did he get hit? No, he just, uh, got sideways on entry. And then is off pace. And then, uh, guy on the outside doesn't really give him much room. So he's had a bad sequence of corners there. Leader getting a bump draft. Because this is super speedway racing after all. And that's just a blink. A long one. It's gone for half that straightaway. Ooh, the five continues to get bad luck. Someone gets sideways in front of him, and I think he got some damage from that, and that's why we were able to beat him. Otherwise, we should not have been able to. And the outside turns in on him. We get it kept on track, though. That's it. I swear there was a lot more going on, but I guess they didn't register his incidents. Um, I wasn't very good, <laughs> but that's okay. We, you know, technically move forward. We beat some people we shouldn't have and got ourselves a zero X in a really strong field. So um, I'll take the positives for what they are and uh, accept the fact that I just need to practice this place more. I've never really been good at Road America. And then uh, first time in this car here as well. So um, we keep it clean. We avoid some scary driving at the start. And, uh, I'll take it. You know, top split, P14 as the 10. Not too bad. I'll take it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. 
and I hope you have a good one. See you.